All right, what's up, everybody? This is Aileris, and uh, welcome to Vampire Savior Community Night 120. Um, I'm going to have Kyle Atula on Discord with me in just a little bit as soon as he's done, uh, but he'll be doing commentary for us tonight, but I will be uh, starting off with everybody. Um, glad to see a lot of these uh, faces in here. Um, thank you for coming. There are 23 entrants tonight. Um, I think I had to remove one. Uh, last minute due to a DQ. So uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. We're going to have uh, matches starting now. Uh, first up will be Groove Diva uh, and uh, Groove Diva versus JD. Uh, JD is not a new player. Oh, looks like they're starting. Okay. All right, uh, I think I think my mic's working now. Um, so yeah, we'll have um, a potluck and Cooper B chance uh, playing on. Um, I'm waiting on Cooper B chance to get into the lobby. Okay, now we're gonna it's gonna be potluck versus Cooper V chance.
And sorry, I'm I'm doing a bunch of back end stuff. So uh, hopefully Kyle gets here soon. He said he should be on uh, pretty shortly. But just waiting for these two to get connected to each other, and then I will show them to you. Here we go. Oh. Let me try that again, he said. So Potluck takes that 2-0. All right, and that's round one, so we got a lot more action in round two coming. Um, I'm going to have VMP Many Maw versus Madam Tangu. Kyle will be on the mic, uh, but this is uh, Aileris right now. Yeah, dude, I know. I know who you are. How you doing? Oh, they're off to the races already. Well, here we go.
Hello. Ah, uh, the audio issues. Hold on. Hey Kyle, can you hear me? You still having problems? All right, um, Kyle, are you there? Can you hear me? Well, Kyle's here, but he is uh, having audio issues, so. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Where is NB? Hello. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, I can hear you now, man. Hi. 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 Thank you, patience. I'm here and I'm ready. All right, Snuggle Guns and Potluck are up right now. Oh yeah, good timing. Hell yeah. Potluck's been playing for a while too. This is great to see him so active. Get thrown. High item. I love their matching outfits, Zach. Look at this. Blue and gray. About like a colorblind dog, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good tech. Good tech and potluck too. Damn. Wake up. I think Sucker Guns is really strong at the uh, like converting an AG leak. Like he wakes up with a clean AG and then comfortably chains to like a full combo. 
Yep. It really pushes someone's ability to do a meaty or like a, 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 a deliberate Zarashi. Overhead, Tenraha. Long dash, good OS. That's nice, Potluck. All right. Two, get poked on. Ooh, look at that weird reset left-right thing. That was interesting. Yeah, pretty good show about Potluck. When they're starting to put their game plan together. Doing the right options. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely play that, um, I think a faster pace. Just comes with experience, right? Look at that Tekken IAD, that shit's fast. Damn! Clean Tekken, some sucker guns. Oh, lordy, it hurts! Is that a t oh, that's a kill too, so good. Clean corner offense and sucker guns, my god. Like, chicken blocking, turning a, a defense into an offense. Tech it, jump out, has the corner. Full ten right hot combo. Up item, maybe? No! Jeez. Oh, so clean. Another one that's nothing on strength is the, uh... The post tech it scenario. So, like, you... You make a good block, you make a good deliberate tech it. And then the moment your tech it's done, you move. So S Guns is so good about like tech hit jump or tech hit IED and turning their defensive tech into like an offensive opportunity. Yeah, so I think the next match we'll have will be uh, VMP Servo versus MLP Amaguk. So Abby, I think that like tech hit move technique is. Is so fundamental to Sasquatch. Like, as anyone gets better with Sasquatch, they start to see the power of that particular technique. Tech it long dash, tech it jump, tech it ice towers. It's just so amazing. Cool. Let's see what this uh, green zombie can do and who they're fighting. Finding a Felicia. Oh god. Yep. Yeah. Finding a, a mop or a calm blondie blondie girl Felicia. Quick jump check, double IEDs. Oh with the New York blocks the cross up. Good stuff to Ama Ama Gook. Yuke. You Ama Guacamole. Amagu Q, maybe. Amagu Q, that could work. Amagu Q, it's probably like a phonetics in Japanese. Amagu Q. The, the fault of Amagari. There we are. It's a fucking Junji Ito novel. Nice super confirm from Abby. A big low confirm from Abby. Shit hurts. Another one. Clean, clean play. The Enigma of Amaguki Fault. There it is. That's for all my Jujinto fans out there. <laughs> right side. Test the meat with the jump. Good standing HP. Oh my god, these like quick overheads is so dominating. Meaty confirmed. Abby, calm down. Is it a chip? Hits with a B drill. Oh no, so quick! This is a slaughter show. The Sakai slaughter show. A servo slaughter show. There we go. Boom. It's hard. Like, stand the block is so important in that matchup. Even if you just hold jump, like, they're. Less likely to hit you with that full combo and have to start uh, managing your jump with other options. Like down back, it just it kills you so much. My god. Yeah, so we have uh, Felicia B matchup. Uh, it's going to be MB versus Ustin. Oh, fuck yeah. Happy that both these players are hanging out and mashing buttons tonight. That's awesome. 
like QB, QB players, everyone hates it. Felicia players, everyone hell hates it. So this is gonna be uh, a match full of love. I mean, Zach, do cat players really hate QB? Um, I don't speak for all cat players, but yeah, I I hate QB. <laughs> but yeah, fuck you, QB Desu. Nice dark horse. Good job from Austin. Good defense from Envy. Look at this. Block tech, tech block. Bleeding a little bit, but yeah, yep, over the line. Good scoop. Hellcat in the way through it. Long dash. OS. OS again. Austin's doing some work. There's a cute little low link from Envy. Yes, Delta. You're fine. Quick IED. Dark forcing out. That's good. That's good. Don't get thrown. Tech hit. What's you gonna be? Punish the DF, hopefully. Ah, you're back to neutral. Alright, alright. Oh no, this is the worst spot. Oh no, what's it gonna be? I appreciate the jump. I respect it. Get thrown. Oh. Just like frames away from fighting out of it. It feels like uh, Felicia on the inside is winning. Between Dark Horse and, da and like Dashing MK and OS's, like Austin just getting the offense rolling. Good tech. Tech move. There we go. Yeah, NB, good shit. Like the movement, the reactions at mid screen, like they are winning these engagements. Let's keep Cat out of the inside. Alright, jumps out of that one. DF, what's it gonna be? Oh my god, it even forces like a, a cross up on the left side. It's so mean, Zach. Purple Buzz Buzz, that's gonna give you nightmares. Gonna give you like a, a Bloodborne Amygdala nightmare. Or a Mog Amog nightmare, there we are. Usin fighting through it. Good blue hands. ESCR confirmed. What's the setup? Gonna go for a QJ. Corner force block. Watch your head. Oh yeah, don't be jumping. Totally NB's game, NB's control. That mid-range is where NB is winning. Just keep Cat out from throw range and you can absolutely pull ahead. Yeah, I think that's really important. Um, like, that range where I can throw is where all my stuff gets started, so. Yeah, it's like, it's the blender range, right? Like, get yeah. out of the fucking blender. Long dash. OS throw. There we are, fighting way out of it. Couldn't be any more equal right now. Look at the hell. Mid-range. Find your right spacing, NB. Oh, that one hurts. Get the fuck out of there. Watch out! There you go. Worth it. Alright, low tapping out. Don't be jumping. Quick overhead. Low DF out. Get the fuck out of there. Oh no! That's fine. He has no meter right now, so you can play your game. Don't jump. Junkin, junkin. Good shit. Right side gets the uh, IED. That leak was a big deal. There's a more Dark Force coming out. You gotta avoid this one, and then you can play the game again. Corner ESCR, what's the setup gonna be? Pursuit with, holds the corner, watch your lows, there's your DF, respect it, get the fuck out of there. I love it, that's fine, that's fine, that's a win. Oh god, Ooh. Envy's doing the shit. Envy's doing it, Envy's doing it. Corner bubble. Oh, that was Has a missed it. pursuit though. Oh, wow. Oh. It's still, like, not too bad of a position. You still have the corner. You still have that, uh, like, proximity block projectile going around the screen. Good job, MB. Like, good adjustment on the fact that you lose at throw range, and at mid-range you can compete. Really good adjustment. And I think the third bat was even more important that MB was going for the, uh, the ESCR confirms. And that really put the momentum back in their favor. Indeed. Um, so, that said, I think we're moving on to winner's quarterfinals. Um... NB, I think I'm going to give them a break. Um, end break, yeah. Yeah, an end break. And I'm going to have VMP, Action Hank, and Mobius. An end break? An end break and an Action Hank. All right, good. Showtime! Did these two play? 
You might have played the team tournament, but actually it was Action Hank and Fuzzy who played at Combo Breaker. That's right. Nice. Should be a classic QB versus Fist match. You all want to see an animal? We have animals tonight. We just saw a cat, though, so I don't know. Yeah, the aquarium, I'm sorry. It's There's a lot of people. A lot of fish players. Can you imagine like a, like a palette mod where she's actually a red panda? It'd be too cool, wouldn't it, Zach? Who? <laughs> Felicia, of course. Who else? Like, what? I, be awesome. No. I, uh, I disagree, actually. You would not play a red panda mod of Felicia? You would not? No, I would not. Wow. Look, I like red pandas, Don't... yeah, but I'm not Goo Goo Gaga. Everything's got to be a red panda. You know? It goes against her origin story. I got you. I got you. We got Mobius looking to, like, play it slow. Quick ID. I wonder if you're trying to bait out, like, a, a, Son a Sonic's pair. Ooh, high, low, high. Doing the buzz buzz thing. Oh, yeah, don't be jumping. Junkin? Junkin, stop jumping. Want a bubble? There's the shit. E a, a CR over the top. Woo! Good. Gets a gas. Corner. Oh, no, you gotta do a different air chain against QB. Her crouching state is different after she's hit from Dizzy. Nice. Check it out. DF out. Has a corner. What's it gonna be? Good old bubble in the face. No, you can't pursue because you're on the shit. You can't do it. <laughs> oh no. I wonder if you have to like hop down then pursuit. Interesting. I'm surprised you cannot pursue off the off the crab or the stingray. Pretty uh unfortunate engagement for Albat. Just sitting there like spending two meter, not getting the clothes out on the on the first bat, and they're so meter hungry. So actually, Hank decides to like spend the spend the money, and still can't close out bat number one. This is a bad spot. Jab, jab. So now it's up to Action Hank to build about two more bar before the win condition becomes enabled, and QB just has to make about three good decisions on the inside. Okay, there's a halfway on the meter condition for Action Hank. Looking good, holding the corner pressure, knock down. Oh no, bubble! But that was a decent chance. There's a bubble poked out. Anti air. Meter is spent right now. We are back to where we started, folks. This is actually anyone's game. I think it's up to Albat to make some good plays here. But you got time to build some meter. Don't need to rush it. Get buzzed on. High, low, high. Oh no! The ESCR turned into a uh, a honey boo boo. Dash MK jumps out. Actually, Hank has about two more plays to make to win it or lose it. Full screen bubble. What's it going to be? Timeout. They don't see the clock. They don't see the clock. Two, one, command throw. No. Oh, what a close match. Yeah, I don't think he saw the clock. Adam, watch the clock, fam. Good patience by uh, Mobius. Didn't have to push the advantage any more than they did. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, god, ugly, like an autocorrect left side overhead? Junk in that, like, RPS and guess. Like, we're just playing Strive now. <laughs> QB is like the Strive meta of VSAV. You just like junk in, junk in RPS the whole time. Alright, corner, jumps over the top. Damn, Mobius! This is a commanding lead by Mobius. Like, Albath hasn't had the meter or the positional advantage to, like, turn it in their favor. We need to have a real turnaround here for Albath to have a chance. Good tech. Dash up by QB. Quick IED. Yes, CR confirmed. Beautiful. Honey Boo. Oh, damn. On the trade. Same frame. Just straight up DF bubble. I'll show you. Oh, they crouched under the bubble! That fucking bee is so small! She actually crouched under that bubble. 
I almost feel bad for Albath. Like, what a bad spot for this fish. You almost in. feel bad for fish? Fuck that. <laughs> I would not want to fight into this QB right now. Oh, uh, gonna check it out. Or oh, the leak saved their ass. Cool. Jump in, get stuffed. Alright, you have to make like two plays right now. Gas number one, one, two, full knockdown. Gas number two, what's it gonna be? Poke it out. No! You had your chance, Stinky Fish. Get back in the pond, Willie. Do some more reps. Do some more fucking like montage weightlifting here. Yep. That was a pretty desperation dark force, but it's working out for them. Right side jumps out. Sweep. Gas again. Or bubble. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, nice I heard comeback. The, I heard the coins. Like, all that to come down to, like, um, an anti jump standing MP versus a Sonic pair. And, like, it just happened to win. My god. Fucking action hang, hanging on like he's, uh,. Mufasa on the the cliff of Pride Rock, man. Jesus. Overhead. So at this point, Action Hanks figured out the neutral, and they're slowly pulling ahead on all these micro engagements. It's really up to QB to. Uh... Oh! <laughs> this is trade on the Aqua Spread. Can't believe it's not water. Yeah, it's up to QB to turn the offense on and just get on the inside and press the right buttons. Because they're losing the, the mid-range and neutral game too much right now. And actually, case in point, Action Hank is pulled ahead in the set right now. It's still barely ahead, but it's, it's a thing. Jumps out. Alright, too far for the ESCR to connect. A catch and rebirth. Or catch and return, whatever the hell it's called. That one works, sitting on a bar advantage for QB. What's the setup? Honey Boo. Has the corner. DF out. Is it gonna be? Oh, QB jumping. That was three in a row jumps. And all Albath got was a jab. Like, this fucking game. Quick IED. Quick IED. Oh my goodness. Throw. Bubble. 2 MP. Okay, okay. Damn, the risk of war that jump startup is nuts in this game. Like, Albath meaty twice in a row the stuff jump startup, and then the third time QB jumped again. And, like, the risk of war to all those confrontations meant that QB was still rewarded for jumping three times in a row. It, it's a hard game, folks. It really is. <laughs> hard to condition, so fast. So, we're going to have Snuggle Guns up versus um, B. DeLouis? Uh, Brazilian player. Cool. Brazilian De Louis. Brazilian De Louis. There we are. Are they um, like a Brazu Bazu? Who are they playing? I don't another know. QB, isn't it? It's another QB. Make it a guess. Dimitri. Oh, what a name. <laughs> Bruno Extreme 19 Ubuntu. Great. <laughs> they're not. Uh, they've got some experience. They've been playing for a while. I see they're, they're ranking. Good. Card DPs. Sweep them out. Oh my goodness. Back to SDP was awesome. Sweep. Low profile the GC. Nice spot for some guns right now. Damn, this Dimitri's doing the real shit, Zach. I like it. My yeah, DP on their wake up. Big ol' confirmed by S-Guns. Is this an alias for the player from um, Necropunchy? I we'll don't know. Yeah, we'll see. It's nice though, like they're doing the right stuff. Ooh, there's some meat there. Like, I especially like their deliberate use of the uppercut in a way of being like a bully about it, but then they're also mixing up the, the like the strike as much as they are the invisibility. Whoa! Late cancel, air dash, back dash, crouching HP, 
Sometimes big corner advantage. What's it gonna be? Oh my god! Did you see that? Yeah, thread of the needle. Yeah, it wasn't. It was a, like a wake up uh, dashing DP. It was a 45 degree angle. Oh, nobody! Shit! Anyone's game right now. Dimitri. Oh, what's it gonna be? You're low. <laughs> this is exciting. I like this. Demi. Backdash DP. Wake up, like, dashing DP? That's just hard. They must be playing on a cross-up. That's for sure. Uh, all right, we got some guns more on the like defensive reactive. Baiting, baiting those uppercuts. I'm not seeing many throws from Dimitri. It's almost like they're mixing up between DP and strike. We'll see how that works out for them. Gets hit out of the forward roll. Total control about something guns. Just really holding the corner. Fading DPs. Oh no! Big quick IED. Has the corner. Jump in. H, H jump chain. I like it. You gotta do a throw, Dimitri. You gotta throw her. Again. Again. Too much strike. You gotta toss. Woo! Back dash. There you go. This throw number one. What's the next play? Like really anticipating the forward rolls from Lele, but not getting them very often. Quick ID, good defense. He has uppercut. He needs to go back to neutral. Not getting the opportunity they need. Hey, that was good. That was good. Do you see an out? You gotta throw. You gotta throw. Do it. No, that was a good match. That was a good match. No, Dimitri's gonna go far today, Zach. Like, they've got such a strong foundation for the character. Yeah, they beat uh, La Rosa and uh, Internet Slime prior to Damn. that. They beat the uh, Dimitri Mirror, too. Sorry, was that a 2 0 or 2 1? It was 2 0, right? Okay, sorry. It was 2 0, but they were both really competitive, so that's cool. And as far as the, like, the La Rosa Mirror, like, it's really depending on which. Dimitri wants to be more stubborn, and which one's trying harder to adapt? Like, it's such a, a game of chicken. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, Mini Mall and NB up. Nice. I don't think they played in the hot minute. Unless they played in uh, the Cincy one. Alpha attack? Uh, I can't remember. It was it was over two weeks ago. I can't remember anything. <laughs> like, you sure can remember. This didn't go back that far. <laughs> Nice. Cool. Yeah, great turnout from like so many recognizable people. Thanks to everyone for showing up. Internet slide, Minima, and me, La Rosa. This is this is what we like. If I was a betting man, I'd say maybe Melody B is here as well, right? No, you would be a terrible betting man. Mm. Miller's always there. He's like the fucking like Miller and La Rosa, the two that always keep it going. All right, NB Minimal. This should be a good one. Their connections are like New Yorkish to Ohio-ish, so it should be a nice stable connection. Love tap, IAD, good defense from NB. Look at that shit right there. All right, quick low high. Now that's cute. That is so high, but we'll take it. That's so why I don't remember anything. Because you're uh, your Bishmon friend, right? Yeah, so high. <laughs> oh! Hey, good! That move's extremely challenging to connect against Gallon. Like, his, with his jump speed, the Japanese say just straight up don't do dashing in PSQB. Because the, like, probability is shit to land that thing. And he's on, oh, like, 3 for 3 right now. 2, 3, 4... This is a wild neutral. He's got to spend some meter. Just isn't getting those like random Abare 5 cannons. There's one. Just spend some more. He's sitting on 
Some bar. There you go. Spend some more, Ethan. Ooh, just across. Goes for a 10 gallon. Tiger needs it by accident. Still works out. They're probably jump start up. That's some shit. Two, three. There you go. That's what Miniwan's got to do. Spend the meter. Get in there. This is where Ethan shines. Corner advantage. They're so good at that. Gets a knockdown by NV. Right side. IAD. No, the auto crack. Makes the spacing wrong. The full chain might have done it. 3 4. Don't fucking tell me that's gonna kill. That was so nasty. Like the third hit crossed up. Air Beast Cannon. Tech hit. Oh, tech hit. Oh, NB. Good defense. It's just hard to play around. Don't be jumping. Chicken blocking out. Chicken oh, blocking out. Watch caught the low. Well done. What an interesting neutral. Like. Gallon knew better than to do like all the jump kick kicks, but the like the beast cannon approaching was working, but eventually NB switched it on and was chicken blocking that on purpose. There you go. Ooh, cool. Uh OM out of that situation. Has the corner, thrown into the corner, right side, low, wake up GC. God, damn, I think NB is one of like the highest success rate of GCs we have in like our scene. This is so good at it. Ooh, nice cross up by Gallon. Pulling this back back together. Gotta fight their way through a whole bat behind right now. Alright, goes for the pursuit. Commanding lead by NB right now. What is Minimar gonna do? Back dash, back dash. Two, three, gets a cute cross up. Just sitting on one more bar, you gotta spend it. Need that five cannon. Air kicks, OS throw, meaty, gets blocked out. A jump, tech hit, air throw, looking good, Ethan, keep it going. Left side block. Oh, blocks that one, two, three, four. Oh! This is anyone's game. I like where they're at. Quick ID, blocks it out. Oh, see there? See how Gallon still jumped out of the like classic. Dashing MP, uh, like, Junkin setup? Yep. Yeah, like, that's where it's... Oh my god, E was doing the shit! They needed that so bad! E! Good defense by NB. Oh, no. Anti-jump. MP. Yeah, that MP, NB tactic. Good defense by NB. I felt like, um... A significant amount of the neutral and, like, the advancing options by Minima were like tech hit it out or chicken blocked or like uh maneuvered out of the way and i feel like that's what really pulled nb ahead in that set good shit. all right next up we have servo and wavy amar oh nice cool we got servo running up the fucking like the cat attack over here it's like the third felicia that they've had to play Yeah, also, Wavy, thanks for joining, hanging out with us again. Like, another person who's one of those, like, backbone on the scene. I feel like Wavy, La Rosa, and probably Metal 2B are the most consistent entrants. See what's slugging it out at mid screen. I think Abby's been really consistent at, like, uh, ooh, Cat Guard is neglected. I like it. Abby's been really good about um, confirming into, like, a full knockdown. You've been awesome. Okay. Ah! Goes for a DF. Gets a cute little reset. What's it gonna be? Long dash in. OS throw. OS throw again. That was a nice unblockable. I think one more good play from Abby, and we're, she's right back in it. Which is fine. Not too far behind. Just doesn't want to get hit by a big old Felicia combo. What's it? This is not a good spot. Quick Apollo cross up. We love it, New York. Love you all. Left side, knockdown. Oh, so close on the unblockable. That was the right confirm. Good scoops. A jump. Really close to UB. What's Abby gonna do? Gonna challenge it or back away? Challenge it. Doesn't pull through. Oh, I needed that one. Oh, no. Is it gonna be? Maybe a teleport? Maybe a. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the frame cap low was good. 
It just feels like once Wave gets Dark Force, the um, opportunities for the OS to throw are just like um, rejuvenating. They just keep coming. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, because if the first one doesn't work out, you're going to have three or four more chances to nab an OS throw. Left side jump over. Alright, knockdown. I love the pursuit option. There's your punish. Looking good, Abby. Very clean. Quick IED gets blocked. Yeah, Cat keeps chicken blocking out of the, like, pseudo unblockable setups. Like, which is good. Abby's gotta make it. Ooh, unblockable one. A transition there. What? Just a throw on that? Master shit out of that. Nice. Yeah, so what's it gonna be? It's dash MK OS, dash MK hits again. This is the sweet spot for Felicia because at worst she's gonna lose a bat. At best she's gonna like win the whole match. But the risk of war is really in the favor to do the like late bat one dark force. Alright, Abby challenging it, looking alright, gets a couple straight hits. Get a one two super confirm, A jump, no UB but close. Don't jump, six MP, six MP. One good Dark Force and Felicia's got this, so it's not over just yet, folks. Good block, pokes out of the, like, anti-air, don't, don't tread on me, like, sticker on the back of the Zabel's head. Ooh, GC's out! A-Jump, J-O-K. A-Jump, J-O-K. Yeah! Oh, the confirm was so tight! Quick overhead. Good block. Doubling down for the Dark Force KO. Jabs through, ES Pursuit. Good shit, Abby. Nice. Nice. I got hairy there for a minute, like, oh! I think she got hit out of, like, a Dark Force punish, and then it was a scramble jab, and, like, that got close. Alright, we're very even. There's a clean unblockable. Anti-Air 2 LP is the classic Kobo Mario. Very good, quick IED, overhead. Dark Force is out, what's Abby to do? She's gonna fight through it, get the knockdown. Look at Wavy, like, so happy to up back in the corner. It's hard to challenge that. Like, the... Like, chicken guarding of Felicia is such a risk of war in her favor. Silver really needs some big damage to turn this around. She's, like, falling behind every interaction. Alright, tech it out by Felicia. Long dash OS throw, maybe? What's it gonna be? Right side, gets a knockdown, that's good. All right, offensive dark force again. Oh, flips under in the Hellcat or the the Helper Cat. Uh, fortunate miss on the super there. Big letdown, but Abby's barely in there. Gets the throw. No OTG. What's it gonna be? One more tap. Misses UB. Very tight. Yeah, I think Abby missed a um a really crucial death voltage like the. The LK came out and not like the LKMK. And uh, like that was so important to the plan. So it's hard. Thanks. Good try and better luck next time. Shit's rough. All right. So we're going to move on to winner's semis now. Um, first up for that will be MB versus Mobius. Uh, a lovely B mirror to start it off. Lordy. We have a. B, a B, a cat, and who else? Uh, Snuggle Guns. Oh, sick. B, B, cat, and Lele. Nice. Assuming S Guns plays Lele, I assume they will, but they may, may not. It could be three Bs and one cat. Sounds like a shit, like a innuendo team name. Three Bs and one cat, yeah. It's three QBs and one DJ. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mr. DJ. Mobius and B. B players hate this matchup. It is quite a wild matchup. Like, the chicken blocking beats the IAD. So they both jump around trying to, like, out chicken block each other. Almost like, uh, like a Vladimir. <laughs> Alright, cool, we got starting out for the taunt. Look at that, we jumping. 
We jump in and junk in. That's how this matchup goes, okay? Fucking Unreal Tournament. Who's bunny hopping more like a QB? Quick IDs? So Mobius is blue, MB is like the light lavender, I think. Yeah. Nice aura float. What's it gonna be? MB on the offensive right now. It's really making a lot of decisions. Low crushes with CR. Triple ID. Oh, there's a gap there. It's beautiful. All right, quick butt maybe. Ah, go for low. That's fine. Just like that, Moby brings it back. That's that chicken block bullshit I was talking about. Like the moment one chicken blocks and the other IDs, then like, look at that. The the one chicken block covered two air dashes. How wild is that scenario? Down back in, gets thrown. Alright, wow. Mobius took the corner and won it. Maybe it's stream positioning. Maybe it's like the first B in the corner doesn't have the runway to retreat is the the one like on their back feet. Five chain. Back in there. Good. Ah, oh, gee, challenging with standing MP. The love tap IED. Again, it feels like that one low tap and the quick ID is doing so much work. All right, chicken block by Envy. GC and out, nice. I would not want to be these QBs right now, Zach. Like, how stressful is this? Yeah, mirror Mobius. matches are the worst. Yeah, they're pretty deflating. All right, corner throw has the advantage by Envy. Holds the corner, JHK, don't jump, standing in P. CR pokes. We got Mobius down backing in the corner. Like, trying to hold through on the big defense. Good block by NB. This is a good interaction, alright. What is going on? Nice, low crushes with a CR. Corner spot for NB. This is really important right now. NB needs like two or three good hits to hold it in there together. TC's out, that's a punish. This could be a tech hit bug. It's not, but that's fine. Good stop. Stop for Envy. Good spot, good spot. MP, MP, MP. We're gonna call it standing NB instead of standing NP right now. That shit won the match. I love it, because NB did the whole match, like, conditioning and buzzing. It meant to seal the deal. It was like, NP, NP, NP. Like, fuck you, stop jumping. Or stop junking. I don't even want to say. All right, Tesla Meaty jumps out. More Jonkin, more standing MP. It's almost like who can play rock paper scissors faster? Because the speed at which they're making the decisions about the high low like don't jump is almost as important as like their accuracy on the decision making. All right, quick ID low from Kef Low, don't jump. Look at that, damn, MP looking so good with standing MPs. Like, yeah. They found the right spot to stop the jumps. I almost feel like that's what's turned to Envy ahead in this whole set is their ability to use standing MP to stop the jumps. Look at that, look at that. That's look, that's exactly it. And holding that spot. Look at it again, again! Oh yes! MB, that was fucking beautiful. You say beautiful? Beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful. It was Q beautiful. But the spacing was like some third strike shit where if they press a button there a hit, if they didn't press a if they didn't like all they could do to avoid that was like crouch or seven jump. And even when they seven jumped, and be recovered in time to like react. It was it was beautiful. Alright, so now we're gonna have Snuggle Guns versus Wavy Amar. Night. They've got these really interesting diagrams that show um, like a child's or an infant's sleep pattern over time and like watch the like durations of sleep calibrate to like a normal cycle. And I feel like we could do that same type of diagram with like the QB mix-ups. And it's like with that matchup, the more the, the match went on, the more standing in P was just like winning every engagement. 
It was like the, the putting the baby to bed is what that fucking move was. <laughs> Good tech. Nice. Check and block air dash out by stun guns. Ugh. Just like challenges it all the way through. Wavy MR takes that like thing all the way, squeezes every last ounce of like offense they can out of Dark Force. No unblockable, but still gets a low high. Felicia needs to kill some up and like turn this around. Nice, Renda. Has the corner. Don't be jumping. Meat. Okay. Slowly ahead by Stunker Guns right now. So this is one of those matchups where Lele is more incentivized to do Crouching MK than Raiha. Because the Anvil can do a full combo in Felicia only after the, the one hit. You can't do it after the sweep. Nice. Cat Spike gets a knockdown. Right side doesn't get thrown. Two things to do buttons. Oh! That's fine. That's fine. Low risk. Just still in the air. There's some frame traps. What's it gonna be? Gonna Dark Force? Ooh, nice block. Check it out. Don't be hitting buttons. There's a Dark Force. Alright. I, I think we all knew it was coming. It's a matter of was it gonna be like a defensive Dark Force or a neutral Dark Force? And the way he chose a neutral Dark Force, and at the same time that Stunker Guns kind of approaching, and it just worked out beautifully for them. GC's out, left side. Clean tech hits. I love defensive like options of Stunker Guns. They're so clean at that. We got a counter Dark Force, alright. Fine. Good, tech tech. Looking nice. And again, pretty low risk overall. Not too bad. Right side. Oh my god, poked out of 10 Raiha. Pretty even, folks. Anyone's game right now. It jumps over the super. This is just hard for some guns to get much going on. Trading blows back and forth. Dark Force jumps out. Chooses to fight through it. Got some patience by uh, Wavy Mar backing up and not pressing too many buttons. Curious with trying to set up though, they keep putting themselves in the corner right now. They definitely look a little concerned, they're scared of the offense of Lele. Gets a nice A jump. Has the corner, some meaty. Toy touch, left side, throws them out. This is the start they needed, and they're gonna keep it going. Okay, jumping option select, 8 jump, big confirm, toy touch, right side, no OS throw, toy touch, no chip yet, 8 jump. Uh-oh, bad spot. Oh my god, another 8 jump. Oh, 8 jump Felicia is too strong. Between like the, the OS air throw and then the amazing air to ground coming down, like Wavy just keeps winning those complications. I think it happened with um, uh, Servo too, right? Like the chicken block into... An attack with winning the like typical unblockable setups. Okay, knockdown for Sucker Guns. Back to corner advantage. Kind of chicken block. Oh, this is amazing. Pursuit. Oh, this is big. This is big. A whole bat lead very quickly by Sucker Guns. All right, goes for the uh, the strike on this mix up by Wavy. Almost double pendulum. That's fine. Wake up, Dark Force. This is big. Tech rolls out. I love the super. Nice one, Wavy. That was such a cute way to avoid the Dark Force punish. What's it gonna be? Ducks under. Oh, right side low. This is a bad spot. Jumps out of it. Gets hit. Wake up DF. The meat. Oh, jeez. Wavy could still do it. I have a little bit of a hill to climb, but they're still in there. Chicken blocking out of the air options. Nice tech hit. Air to air is winning by Felicia. Can Layla get an anti air? What's she gonna do? What's her option? DF out. Wants to play it through with the with the sword. Counter dark force. It's a chicken blocking like ah street fair right now. Wake up DF. 
Wave the Amara doubling down, going all in. Says I'm going to win or die by the Dark Force. It'll probably happen again, folks. This is how they play. Uh. We jumping around. We chicken blocking. There's the second Dark Force. Goes for the Ken Gallon setup. Can you chip him? I don't know. Jumping low. All right. Maybe doing it with the double down offense. Dark Force forcing the agenda, making it happen. Okay, so we are Envy and Amar will be in winners finals, uh, but we're gonna move over to the loser side right now. Like a chance gonna, bracket. We're gonna have VMP Action Hank versus VMP Z Sports Mini Maw. Oh, that's great. Action Hank versus Mini Maw. Yep. Cool. Cool. I gotta fix yep, so that alert. Hmm. So this matchup, folks, um, it is 100% all about avoiding the corner. If Alba can get like a meter and a strong knockdown, it becomes like an 8-2 matchup. But if Gallon can um, like play their spacing and fight at midstream, it's a very like competitive like 5-5 five, five or 5.5. Five so let's see if Gallon can position themselves and avoid the corner, or avoid the puddle, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, DF, DF out. That's a great win for Gallon. Because Gal Alba spent the first meter on like nothing so far. One, two, three. Ooh, gets that counter hit Sonic's pair. Crystal Lancer. Chicken blocks. Action Hank winning all the nuclear right now. There's a knockdown. There's a bubble. This play is huge right now. Tech it out. Good beast cannon. That's good. These confrontations are becoming more of a meter wash, which is what Gallon needs. They're still really far behind, but like this isn't uh, like Doom. Corner knockdown, bubble, what's it gonna be? Jump chain, oh backwards! Oh flipped out the other way, that's so cool! Adam just spending some meter like he's got a tax return right now. What's going on? Good tech hit by Gallon. Ah, oh, almost had that meter. There you go. One quick sweep into a bubble. And it's, uh, it's Alba's game to lose, really. Look at that, left, right. Okay, Crystal Lancer. Oh my god, finishing with a Baja Blast? That shit never works. Like, 80% of the time that thing just gets blocked and it's the most, like, anticlimactic finale. Alright, cool. Yeah, so this match is really up to Mini Maw to push the advantage and win the confrontations at neutral. Because Gallon can only fight at neutral and avoid the corner. If they're not winning neutral, they're not winning the game. Good. Long dash. Long dash. Pokes out. Oh my god. One little trade and it's all in spare. Air chain. It's, uh, it's gonna respect the corner or avoid the corner. Oh no, you didn't. You didn't avoid it. It's the third time that Gallon's done um, a late jumping beast cannon as an escape option. So let's see what Minimal. Oh, what Action Hank's gonna do about that? Scoop. Two, three, four, five. All right. That side low. Action Hank spending it, like, use it or lose it, friend. He wants to close the bat real bad, but he's losing. Oh my wow. god. That dude got kicked in the face, like, four times. Well, when you stand there and you whiff jabs on your crab, that's, <laughs> you know, that just happens sometimes. Sometimes you get jump crab. kicked by a wolf nine times. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Like it felt like one of those UFC fights when the like the ref has to jump has to jump in and like pull the one guy off the other. Yeah. Oh jeez. And it's happening again. He's still getting jumped on. 
Like, oh, and getting cut in half and moment slice. TKP's cannon! Look at Ethan! Fucking clip that! I saw a moment slice combo into a TK Beast cannon. Is this this guy's like New Year's resolution? Calm down, Ethan. Ashton Hank has a hill to climb right now. They are very quickly getting jumped on and falling behind. And this Dark Force is not doing it. Oh, that bubble's good. What's it gonna be? Maybe another bubble? I don't know. Yep, from full screen. Dragon Cannon. Oh! That was that a good mix-up, actually. amazing stuff. Because the decision of how the Jumping Beast Cannon was being stuffed, none of those options were going to beat out the Dragon Cannon. So, good shit to Ethan. Yeah, this is this would be pretty awful to be allied right now. Like, how do you approach this Gallon? Like, jumping whack-whack, landing like bat-bat, meter-meter. Okay, Crystal Lancer, almost two bar for Alvath. Needs a big old corner bubble pursuit for the kill. Damn! Ah! We got a, a that was hot awesome ass match. highlight from, from Ethan, right? Like, damn! Moment slice, like, flash kick, jumping TK, beat cannon for low on the left side. My heart is in love. Alright, so now we have Servo versus V Delui up. Is this the Dimitri? Yes. Nice. Uh, okay, so I think their registered name doesn't match their fight king name. Yes. Cool. What I recall about this Dimitri is that they were strong and good, but they were definitely prioritizing strike and DP way overthrow. And I feel like uh, that is a strategy that Abby is very personally like experienced in. So we'll see if she can punish the DPs and condition this guy to, or this player, to just, like, do different options. <laughs> Bruno Extreme 19 Ubuntu. Uppercut 1. Uppercut 2. Take a drink, folks. Every uppercut we land. Two drinks in already. We're just getting started. Counter throw. Some guilty gear reactions right there. Oh my goodness. 3, 4... Oh, there you go. That's the good shit. 5p punish. Quick ID unblockable. That was a frame or two away from being a safe jump. That was totally fine. Six. I gotta put drink in your all. This is crazy. Uh, I heard the startup of the Midnight Bliss. I think uh, Abby threw it. On probably frame one. Do you see it out? Holy shit, this Dimitri is mean. Like, you give them a gap and they're gonna rip a demon cradle in your face. Oh yeah. my goodness. This Dimitri is mean. Wow. Like, bait punish like four in a row just to change the pacing, but my god, it, it's hard at the moment. That was dashing fierce DP. Ew, is that a red net on like the left side? Quick IED, nice hit by Zabel. Face and punish. There you go, Abby. Clean. That's good. Goes for the bait. What's it gonna be? Again, bait, punish. This is the spacing that she wants to do. Strong bell right here. Like quick tap and bait. Hellport out of the corner. Punish for the death voltage. Looking strong. She's she can pull this around. She's doing it, Zach. Oh, close. I love it. Just that second hesitation is just blocking for a demon cradle. Tries to jump a throw. That's fine. Quick ID. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of a gamble whether sweep or the super is gonna hit. Dashing, yes, upper is a big deal right now. Jumps out, GC's out, safe jumps. Fuck the corner, we teleporting. Safe jumps out. It's still anyone's game. One good DP and uh, Abby's out of here. Gets blocked out. What an aggressive Zabel. There it is, good fucking job, yes! That last one was a chaos player by mistake. And she played around it, she did it again. Dimitri hung himself. That was hard. <laughs>
like the the pace you gotta play at to like big punish while still keeping a threat of a high low is pretty challenging. All right, so with a, with a good adjustment, let's keep it going. This looks like these fierce DPs on trade keep winning for Dimitri. Like they're onesie twosies, but with Zabel's low health. There you go. Hit one two super. Covers it out. Double IED. Oh my god. Oh. So mean. Clean. Alright, we're tied up even folks. Last match, last bat. Zabel on a good tempo, baiting DPs. Dimitri's still forcing the way through. DC, out of here, fuck that. 1-2, big super confirm. 1-2, what's it gonna be? Goes for the New York cross-up, it's fine. We got lots of bar on Dimitri, it's the bite setup. It's the bite, jumps out. Base the DP, ah, first one gets him out. Jumps that super, that's really big. Only zero more bars from Dimitri, it's humongous right now. All Dimitri can do is uppercut. I'm wrong. This is Abby's match to lose. What's he gonna be? Jump and teleport? GC's out. Wow. Ooh. I think there's a roll back there, but that was an interesting low. All right. That was a good match. I think those two could play like five more and it could be really entertaining. It was definitely a sweet spot on the second match into the third where Abby was like on the edge playing, like flirting with the DP. The tempo, the spacing, like keeping the high low on the table, but also playing around the DP. And that's really hard to do. But then good job to Dimitri, like the right conditioning, the right options, and pulling through. All right, so we're going to move on to Losers Quarters and Snuggle Guns versus Many Mall. God damn, this could be like a finals match in any other tournament, right? I love it. Jacob's healthy. The shake weight's healthy. Hmm? Uh, remember the shake weight, everybody? No comment, no comment. All right, here these we go. Had, these two have had great matches in the past, too. Yeah, they've uh, both won their fair share of community nights. Patient neutral. Nice defensive text. It's a delayed beast cannon. Goose. Great command grab. Again? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I love the cancel. Three, four. That's just mean. It's like a frame trap or a left right. And the risk reward is so big for Gowns either way. Two, three, four. Look at the convert. Good shit, Ethan. That's just weird. Long dash. Long dash. Corners himself, jumps over. Ah, jeez. Wow. We all expected like the, the, the next back dash, and he went for a second low. What can you do? Stand up to block and die. It's good. Yeah. Lucky Gun's got to turn something around. I feel like the beast cans at neutral definitely pulled Ethan way far ahead. And obviously Ethan's corner offense is one of his best strengths. Nice. It's a LP on KO. Has the corner for Lucky Guns. Loves to jump chain. Doesn't work out. Okay, there's your lows. Gal with the corner. Oh, God. Her Oki chase can be so fucking cool. It's awesome. 
This is big for Lele right now. Up item. TK Gong. Whoa! That was like a fuzzy overhead. If he crouched, he wouldn't have hit. Oh! The chicken block crouching MK can right hawk? So I'm gonna turn this shit around real quick. Take a jab. Chicken block it out. Ooh. Quick ID. Seven jumping out. Chicken blocking out every time. I like it for sucker guns. It's really their match to lose. Just play patient, conservative. Don't overcommit at neutral and you're fine. Okay, gone. IDs. Chicken blocking out. Puts himself in the corner. Not a good spot. Three, four, five. Uh oh. Two. Oh, that was so big. He needed that one. Don't jump. Six MPs. Oh! They're like waltzing around each other. All right, all right. It was interesting. They have a slot feed. It was interesting again. They both just kept missing each other, like some flash video. I think Lele was the crashing HK and Gallon jumped over twice, mm -hmm. and then they like cross, like leapfrog each other in the corner. Oh, mean. I love it. Bite dash throw. Oh, these scoops are working out for Gallon. Three. Whoa, P2 cross up. Nice recovery by Sucker Guns. They were definitely losing the corner. Gallon's OS throws are doing so much work right now. Ugh. Oh, that throw! Oh no! Big ol' four hit. Late for Suga jabbed out. Pretty decent lead by Minimar right now. He's hopping around the screen like they own the place. Good confirm into some meter, into a pursuit. Long dash has the corner, full chain unblockable. And he jumped, chicken blocked by Suga Guns. This is big, landing low, right side, chicken block it out. Below the floor. Sucker Guns fighting for their life right now. Needs to not be in the corner. Needs to chicken block the way at neutral. Spend some meter on some some uh, mad weight as Henry, as uh, Game Chen says. Oh, don't be jumping. Good defense by Minimar. I, lo I love it. Respectable high low high blocks right underneath threads the needle. That was a good match. That was a good match. Minimar like fucking zipped under a pendulum for a twit punish. And then properly ground like chased a ground roll for a meaty MP. I think that was probably the most defining moment of the whole set. Because that that decision mattered the most. I love the pace at which they play, Zach. Like it's as fast as the horse races. It's so exciting and like full of energy. It's just like horse racing. <laughs> Not that I watch horse racing, but that's the analogy I was told. I love it. So folks, we're climbing up the high end of the bracket. Take a second, grab a drink. We're going to get right to it and wrap this thing up strong. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hear me? Yeah, I'm just waiting on these people to challenge each other. Oh, surprised you can hear me. My audio. Let me check my audio device. Maybe I'm coming through the wrong input. That'd be embarrassing. Let's see. Or you can video. Yep, that's embarrassing. Voice settings should be. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was the wrong audio device. Sorry about that. Hopefully, it sounds better. It does actually, but uh, I honestly didn't notice. Ah, that's good. My bad. Ooh, nice empty jump throw by Dimitri. I love it. It's an OS. This Dimitri's a meme. I like him. Like in the nice, like most bullyish way. Force your options, make the opponent play around your options, and be the pace car of the match. Wake up reversal, yes, uppercut. So, Zach, is this a uh, best of three or best of five match? This is loser's quarters. Okay. ESCR catches them. Corner advantage for QB. Setup is a QJ. Oh, I love it! The Junkin, the bubble into the uh, CR again for the rinse and repeat. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like Mobius has had a really good showcasing for uh, CR at neutral tonight. I've seen it after chicken block. I've seen it kind of as a Zirashi. And I've seen it as a poke as well. And it's all been quite effective. Yeah, big lead by Mobius right now. A couple big guesses by Dimitri. That's what they got to do to pull ahead right now. Oh, poke, poke. It also feels like Mobius isn't fighting them at DP range. Which is like, historically it's tough for QB, but MB's make, uh, Mobius is making it work. Good. Chaos Flares are a nice change up now. Dimitri's not adva advancing with like dashing EP as much, DP as much. Nice, sweet Pantera. Like, what a classic Street Fighter thing. Sweet Pursuit, good KO. Ah, oh, jeez. It's so hard to play around that. Like, he'll do it again and again and again. And the moment you, like, respect it, you get bit. Fucking Dimitri, wow. <laughs> this person has the, uh... The assertiveness of Dara. Just fucking do it until it frustrates the opponent. Alright, Bruno. Bruno Mobius. 1-1. One, one. Ooh, there you go. There's the love tap. Quick IED. Gets prone. Nice meaty low. A jumping like a boss. Alright, Bruno. Oh my god, that's four in a row, Zach. Good ESCR punish. Corner advantage for QB right now. Gets a corner QJ. Ah, oh, DP again. Quick love tap IED. Punish, bait. Anyone's game right now, folks. Anti-air. Mobius pulling ahead. Mobius pulling ahead. Ah, oh, don't jump, Junkin. Full chain by Dimitri. Oh, that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. Dimitri fucked up a, a demon, but QB jumped anyway. So, like, it wouldn't have worked either way. Good decision making. Nice, like, RPS choices by Mobius. All right. So now we are going to move back to winner's finals. Um, it's going to be NB versus Wavy Amar. So are we um, Mobius and Snuffle Guns on the second side? Yes, Mobius. Well, no, Snuggle Guns lost to Many Mall. So Sorry. it's Many Mall so... and Mobius okay, uh, cool. in loser okay. semis. So we're going to do winner's finals now and then move over to them afterwards. Nice.
Let's do it. And be sitting pretty. Wavy sitting pretty. Alright, this one is three out of five. Yeah, don't jump, don't jump. Setting MPs start there already. That's where the mix up starts with QB this matchup. I feel like Wavy likes to tech hit with the, like the HP first. That's quite interesting because it makes them like throw a vulnerable and some like think they can low crush too in this matchup. Good spacing and just Envy's got the right strategy. And uh, if it goes this way, it's going to be dominantly theirs their to win. Nice tech, nice tech tech jump. Tech it out. Doesn't even have to worry about like the dark force. The chicken block. Air dash around. Oh, I was close. It's fine. Alright, JHP gets bopped. Quick IED. Ooh, OS and... Like, there it is. There's that crushing HP, like, tech hit. Still invulnerable. It's quick. It has, like, a low crush on it. Oh, my God. You can be just, like, one frame away from the Dark Horse running out and the ES Buckler comes out. And you're like, oh, why did I try to advance? Good rush by Envy. High, low, high. Uh, don't jump, Jonkin. And they pull it through very easily. Oh my god, this is where they're starting, Zach. Like, don't jump, don't jump. Okay, GC out, ES guard pursuit. Oh, so clean! Yes! And then add the chicken block and neutral. This is NB's dominating lead right now. Chicken block and neutral. Avoid the dark force, like, don't mess with it. Ooh, nice, Amar. All right, QB, uh, Felicia holding jump on wake up. Gonna test Envy's meaties. Okay, now that they meet, they tried to the meaty, they dark forced out. Oh God, jumps over the Sonic. The Sonic Blast. Ugh. Quick chicken block air dash. That seems to work out for them. I haven't seen Felicia beat the option yet of the chicken block air dash. Or stop dying to like standing in peace. So good job to NB for like forcing that option. Jeez. We're looking like a clean 3 0 here at this trajectory. NB, NB bringing the pain. Quick high low highs, chicken blocking, air dashing. Same strategy, hasn't had to switch it up quite yet. Like, this is fine. I haven't seen a major adjustment from Wavy yet. Like, NB is in such a good spot to, like, take this home. Chicken block on your girl. Going there with a high low high. Don't fuck with the Dark Force. Maybe guard cancel if you can. And that's it. Good chicken, good chicken. Pulls him out, gets poked out. Oh no, DF again. DF recovery in the Dark Force. Pursuit. Oh, you needed that. You needed that pursuit. Ah, oh, Master Coin. There was a Dark Force recovery into a new Dark Force activation. My god. Silly. There you go. There's that setting MP that won you the first two matches in B. GC out. They're falling back to that option and it's working beautifully. Creating blows. Crunching MP low profile. So beats that option as well. Dark Force pulls through first bat. Dark Force again. Hellcat. Or 10 gallon set up. Sure. Looks 
like way we found the tempo, Zach. Their JHPs are now turning into air throws. The dark forces are turning into loops. Feels like they're bucklering, like, oh, defensively in an interesting way. Yeah. What is NB gonna do? Were they just guessing right the first few matches? We'll find out. Alright, chicken blocking. Yep. There you go. I like that chain, MPMK. Ah, can't catch a standing MP, but that's fine. Not too far behind yet. Jump out of there. Challenges it, but still loses. Dark Force again by Felicia. Such a strong option. It's covering everything. Oh, jeez. Yes, dashing ESCR. Big punish. Maybe ES Pursuit if you have to. Ooh, hit him with a quick butt, too. I love it. For the meter gain. The S by P is so cool. Great play by NB. Don't jump. Crash MP, don't jump. ES Pursuit. Pokes him out. Her moves, like, the tech hit leak was an anti-air. It's so hard. Don't jump, don't jump. Standing in P doing work, everybody. Standing in B. Alright. Decides to Delta A around that thing. Help, kitty helper. Doing the work. Looking for the chicken block, probably. Watch out for the surprise ES buckler. That's kind of pulled through before. Dark Force on the way out. On the back ropes by Wave EMR. They've got no more meters, so in a good spot for NB. Chicken block. Watch your low. Take it. Jump out. Alright. Air scoop. No more meter. You're fine. A jump. Oh no. It's the chip. It's so close. It's a meaty low. Alright. Good job, Wavy. Wow. That was exciting. Really back and forth. must be so challenging to manage Felicia without an uppercut. Like, I just see her activate Dark Force and just, like, go in on everybody. It was a QB, it was a Gallon, it was, like, a Zabel, somebody else. And it's like, if they only had an uppercut, then her ability to just, like, advance and advance would be so diminished. Damn. All right, good stuff to Wavy. Congrats to NB on fourth place tonight. Thanks for hanging out and saving some vampires. All right, now we're back over to loser semis. It's going to be Mini Mall and Mobius. I feel like these two have played in a few events. Yeah, they have played quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, good. Let's do it, Mini Mob Mobius. Say winners finals, is that right? This is losers semis, Kyle. I'm sorry. Come on. Alright, the love tap. It's like the classic Mobius, like one like standing up here, crouching up here, into a quick IED. Right side low by Gallon, looking cool. Jumps out. Oh, that was weird. Love tap again. Jumps out of that time. I love the like a downward angle B scan and approaches that Ethan's doing now to mix up the advancements. Two, three, four. What is that combination? Ugh! Left side, there's some meat. One, two. Eee! Cross up, JLK. Alright, alright. Alright, Mobius. Doing some work here. Left side, gets thrown. Has a corner by... Minimar right now? These like downward cannons are doing so much, Zach. They're unpunished. They're giving so much advantage. Low. Jumps out. Oh, chicken blocks that too. That's cool. Delta Link. Quick IED with a love tap. 
Pursuit whip, don't jump. Uh, wake up OM, ES Pursuit. Mobius looking to like seal the deal with the dust blow. Two, three, four, five. You love to see it, folks. Oh, seven jumps on wake up. And then IEDs after that. Oof. I think Ethan went for a throw or S2. Like that was standing MP, right? Yeah. Yeah, almost like HK would have been better because the... Oh, I know why. He probably went for like a, an MP confirmed Beast Cannon combo. But the QB jump, so the HK was like the right answer. There you go. There's that HK answer. Good. 2-2. Two, two. Growl, growl. I think it's the third time people are poking out of that Pursuit Whip setup. Ugh, jeez, that's what QB does. He just buzzes all over you and you hate yourself. Ugh. How's the corner? Goes for a Pursuit on hit. Right side IAD. This is a, like, Slaughter Show combo video by Mobius right now. This is what all QB players dream of. Alright. Nice counter throw. Goes for the low. Don't jump. Jonkin. Counter throw by Gallon. Whoa. What are you doing, Ethan? Three. Taps out. Damn. Quick 2 by Mobius. My god. Nice. Quick Alright, so Mobius gets to play Envy now. Mobius gets the W. This happened earlier, right? Did Envy pull ahead in the winner's side? Envy played Mobius winner semis and won 2 1. Correct, yeah. Envy pulled ahead in the matchup earlier. So we get that. Like, who gets a run back this like, often in a tournament, right? A lot of people have to wait a tournament two or three or years to get that run back. Mobius yeah. gets their chance right now. If I'm recalling. MB was, it was like the accuracy of their standing MP that like really skyrocketed them to, to win in the matchup. What you can't say is like just that one move, it's how they place that move like in their toolkit to make it effective, but how they did it had a significant high success rate. So let's see if that defines this matchup now. Back how far are we? This is Losers Finals. Losers Finals, folks. Best of five. Two more matches and the night is over. Community night for mid-August 2022. Summertime jam. All right, we got a quick love tap by Mobius. A second quick love tap by Mobius. Look, this is their player's go-to option. Like, standing LP or crouching LP into an IED screen. Like, that's where they're like their layer one of the meta is. It's a pursuit. Dash it. Okay. Good. Blocks it out. A couple quick lows. Envy's just struggling to get the, um, get the offense started. Like, they're not finding their chances at neutral. And Mobius is, like, continuously in the advantageous spot to get the high low going. Oh, God. That's going to kill. ES Pursuit. Ew. Oh, it was like an IED empty low, too. Nasty. Alright, there's one match. Ugh. So it seems NB needs to make a big change up for their neutral. Like, how are they going to start their offense at neutral? Let's see what they choose to do. Some aura aura floats. TC and by Mobius. Wake up IED. I like it. IED taps. Standing in P. Standing in P. Yeah. Ooh. Standing in K. All right. That change up on Mobius. E2 cross up. That's a uh, death blow here. We have a big advantage by Mobius right now. Like, MB's got to really turn something around to make this match in their favor. 
All right, poke IED, poke IED, poke. So it looks like Mobius is jumping after every poke. Enemy's gonna have to find the right conditioning to like poke and stuff jump. Poke and stuff jump. All right, jumping out MB. All right, there's a good, confirm killable death blow, quick IED. Good, and there's the jump. Ah, oh, the moment they went for the NP, we're seeing low profile anti-air crouching HP. Good adjustment by Mobius, kind of playing that next layer of the burrito. Right side, ah, oh, jumps it. MB second guessing himself, like fuck, how do I stop the jump and not lose to like the anti-air OS, like right there. Crouching MP and crouching HP. Both cover. Oh, you're still alive? No, you're not. It's almost like a strategic low profile. Because if you want, you can stop her jump with a move that low profiles. So you can cover the, like, um, the IED at you and the standing MP. So the answer there is for the QB to do a crouching MP, like delayed low. But adding that to the, like, the mental stack of all the jumping and anti jumping, it's just, it's hard. Corner spot by Mobius. There you go. Love tap by NB. Right side low. I like it. Left side low. I like it more. Ooh, with the, with the bees and the dashing NP. All right. We're seeing N uh, QB's wake up timing being challenging here. As the couple roll throughs made the meanies just, just tough on the player. Yep, good sequence by NB, but Mobius brought that shit right back. And just like that, NB is actually kind of on the ropes right now. They need to make a few good plays and pull ahead to like solidify them being in this in this set. And and keep going today. Standing in P's. Alright, standing in P, standing in P, standing in P. That's right, NB, don't stop. It's an air poke CR, jumps out, GC's out. What's it gonna be? Aura float, poke, no love tap. Oh no, chicken block ESCR. This isn't death, but it's a bad spot. Okay, gets a... Uh, oh, walks through. That's fine. Unblockable standing jab. Good shit. NB doing work. I love it. They made a lot of good decisions back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> what I didn't see from NB was like a big cash in or cash cow on all those decision makings. I think ideally as a QB you want three or four openings and then an ESCR combo to really like... Lock in that damage. Okay, jumping MK, doing work. I see MB doing the aura flow a lot, but I don't see it really being um, a winning scenario for them. Feels like they're getting smacked out more often than not. Ooh, some funky air dash play. Left side, there's a meaty, don't jump. Good jump in, watch your lows. Right side, no auto crack, but that's fine. CR by NB, they're pulling ahead right now, folks. They're doing the work. Standing in P. Good, good buzz. L uh, low crush. Couple IADs, holding the corner. There you go. This is NB's match to lose right now. They are so far ahead. Like, just play safe, play smart. Don't make too much of a risk. And you can whittle your way down through this. NB pulling it back, quick 2-0. Feels like they found their like their footing and their positioning at neutral. It also feels like the first person that gets to play is like play wins. So like who comes in and gets to make the first like three decisions? It looks like it's the black one. Looks like it's Envy today. Good check it out. Anti air looks good. Chicken block, double chicken block, air ch air dash. Ugh. Ooh weird. Air chicken back dash. Don't jump, don't jump. This is the NP, the uh, the NP NB. That's what's doing the work right now. Good shit. Right side, wake up Delta. Okay, probably some turnaround shenanigans. I'm really impressed. NB has like been turning this around. We have quite the even match right now. Uh, all right, couldn't be any closer. Wake up IAD gets buzzed. Don't jump, standing NP. Junking it out. You got to RPS this shit. Jump, down back. Up back, anti IED. What's your tech? Wake up, GC. I respect that so much. Good stuff, NB. All right, goes for the media uh, frame trap lows. Chicken block, IED. What's it gonna be? Oh, right side low. It's fine. NB holding the corner. You're fine. You're fine. Chicken blocking. Chicken blocking. ESCR. Yes. Oh, NB's got some advantage. Don't jump. 
Ah, oh, quick buzz buzz! Shit, don't jump! Air throw nagete! That's the power of the aura flow. That was a good final match. So, like, QB will jump at you and advance while blocking. And she wants to do, um, like, JNP anyways, because it hits so far below her. And it's almost like Sasquatch jumping at you, because the moment that you, like, ascend the challenge, the fucking monkey, he's going to air throw you anyways, and QB's that way. Uh, she's aura floating at you, and you go to air, like, air attack, whatever, and she fucking scoops you and slams you down. Uh, that was a good ending, actually. Nice set by MB and Mobius. Congrats to MB for third place tonight. Thanks for playing. We are there, Zach. Yeah, Good this night. is Grand Finals. It's going to be Wavy Mar versus Mobius. Grand fucking finals. All right. We are only nine o'clock. So about two hours. That's good. Two hours too fun, man. It feels like it's been 20 minutes. This is three out of five. Mobius has to win two sets. So uh, let's go. Let's go. And did these two play earlier, Zach? I don't recall. I think they did not. They did not. Great. Nice. Mobius with the right tech. They leaked a, uh, sh like a light attack. Was able to confirm that. We'll keep going. Quick ID. Uh, wake up DF by Wavy MR. Bad spot from Mobius. Look at all that damage they took. From a wake up Dark Forest. Holy shit. Jumping a a a OS air throw? What's Mobius' plans? Are they going to challenge it? Oh, jeez. No bueno. Low taps. Low taps again. Reversal super out. And that's another one of those, like, cover two options defensive techniques. Because if Felicia does that super, the IED loses, and... Oh! The standing MP loses. Alright. Pretty good lead by Wavy right now. Mobius has to make some big big plays. Ah, that standing on P was not enough to like disincentivize the Dark Horse. Yep, wake up OS throw. Like Mobius has to like two things. You can either straight up avoid the Dark Force to not play that like shitty minigame. Or you have to win the Dark Force minigame. And if you don't get the knockdown, the ES pursuit, and do a big punish, then like the Felicia isn't going to be conditioned to stop doing it. To either like win or get the hell out. And at this point, I'd say Mobius is zero for two on Dark Horses, so maybe one or two more. They should probably make the decision just to like not fuck with it. Long dash, good link by Wavy. Three successful Dark Horses by Wavy MR right now. Got four Dark Horses and another combo. Cool. So Wavy is four for four on Dark Horses, folks. Let's see how Mobius can play around that. Setting MP. Standing in P, looking good, taking a note from the NB playbook. Yeah. Alright, ESCR, it's fine. We'd like to see it. Is this supposed to be a pursuit after that bubble? Yeah, it's really fucking hard. Like, it's one of the most technical things QB has. Okay. I'll do tell you, you, tell you why. You do. But also, you recover facing backwards. So you have to, like, buffer the, the DP backwards. And then, like, hold up. And then press the 3P, like, on jump startup. To, like, auto-correct the DP plus jump at the same time. It's fucking hard. We have a very quick 2-0 by um, Wavy MR right now. And not only is it 2-0, it's 100% success rate on Dark Force. I haven't seen Dark Force being punished or successfully challenged one time. Like, this is a Dark Force slaughter show. Oh. Eight jump. Clean eight jump. It's about a 25% lead right now. 
blocks the cross up JMP. Interesting. Yes. Cat spike. Refine has the corner. A jumping. GC in like a boss. Ah, oh, the full full confirm was all you needed. It's fine. Good. Keep it going, Mobius. Keep pressing those buttons. You're in the right spot. Don't give her the dark force. And keep the offense going. Get the fuck out of there. Don't even mess with it. You're like zero for eight right now. Get the hell out. Oh no, OS! OS! And tech it out. Tech it IED. One, two, three, four. Cat spiking through it. There you go. Eight jump. JP wins the game. All right. Wavy MR. Congratulations. Showing the strength of like um, up backing eight jump JHP OSs, standing throw OSs, and, and like Dark Force offense. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, well, I and think that, <laughs> that does it for us uh, tonight. Um, I what a quick quick uh tournament and glad everybody showed up awesome yeah big thanks to our our player base who keeps supporting like i gave a few shout outs earlier but folks like la rosa miller 2b wavy mr like servo and many more who just keep showing up and making this like the body and breath and heart of the, of the tournament scene so um really Thank you to those players and the many more I haven't mentioned for making this possible. If we didn't have people who were like signing up, hanging out, pressing buttons, we, we couldn't do this. So you have yeah. our gratitude. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but, uh, you know, the next one we'll have uh, two weeks from today. So we'll be around for that. And then uh, we'll be going to ECT in, well, let me double check that. Yeah, ECT that weekend um, on September, I think it's the 2nd through the 4th is when uh, ECT and I think it's Labor Day weekend. So we're going to be up there competing for the Capcom Fighting Collection $7,000 pot bonus tournament uh, brought to you by Capcom and MSI is providing laptops for them, which is pretty cool. Um. But yeah, thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to send you over to Sarvets who rated us earlier before we started. But yeah, have a uh, great evening, everybody, and we'll catch you later. Bye, all. Oh, yeah, it's my birthday right now. So thank you, everybody, yeah. for saying happy birthday. Appreciate it. Anyway. I'm old. Doesn't mean anything. But love y'all. See you on the other side. <laughs>